Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I have to come to you, well, I need to come to you, not have to, with another request for our sister Tessa. I would be remiss in my duties as someone who teaches that we should help the poor if I ignored these requests from these two ladies that I asked for help for. And Tessa has been one of them. Now she has had a GoFundMe raiser, a GoFundMe fundraiser up, and has not had success with it. But she has to move. She's in an apartment complex that is going to remodel her apartment and increase the rate. She has a choice to move into one of the newly remodeled ones. I think they were a couple hundred dollars more. And she can barely make ends meet now. Because she still hasn't gotten her disability. So she emailed me the other day. And she said, Hi, Miss Jeannie. When you feel up to it, can you please remind people we still need funds to help with the electric bill over 200 now. $200 now. And past time, they, yeah, in the past, right, when last video I think I made for her that had to do with her car, remember we, I put out a request and a few people pitched in and they, she was able to do her rear brakes, I think. Anyway, she said in, in past time they told me to do the other brake work on the back of the car. So they did the front and she needs those back brakes done. Praise the Lord you haven't been in a wreck with those bad brakes. And we still need three more tires. <sighs> so frustrating. Also in a couple of months we still need money for moving expenses. Okay, now this was dated January 28th. And extra to pay higher rent increase. The electric bill next payment to avoid disconnection will be the second week of February 11th or 12th. February 11th or 12th. She has to have it paid. I will let you decide the best time to reach out to those who want help. Okay, she said, we thank you, we love you, God bless you. Love your little sister in Christ, Tessa. So, anyway, I told her that I would um, wait until payday because a lot of people forget and I know some people get paid Thursday, some on Friday, some on the 3rd, some on the 1st. So I figured this was probably the best day to put it out. And I had asked her, um, is your fundraiser helping at all? And I said, oh sis, I'm so sorry you have to keep waiting for what is due you. She is unable to work, people. She's been in too many car wrecks, has fibromyalgia, her pain issues are off the charts, and I wouldn't expect any one of you to try with a, a disabled child or special needs, I guess you'd call him special needs child. She's got him to consider, her mama to drive around, so her vehicle is not just for her, is for getting her child to where he his special classes and her mama to her medical you know doctor appointments and all and her own self she uh, has many i mean if anybody has another answer a real answer let's hear it okay but like i've said before if everybody would just pitch in ten dollars she might have more than enough and um because that adds up 200 if we even had 200 views 100 views 100 views ten dollars that's a thousand dollars 
That could buy tires. That could put on brakes. She could put the rest up for moving. Right? Okay, so I'm putting it out there. And I'm asking everybody to at least pray for God to show you how you could spare $10, please. Maybe some can't give any. Maybe you think you can't give any. Remember the widow and her two mites? My goodness, the Lord brought me to that channel, that scripture this morning. Let me pull it up real quick. I was looking up, I was at the doctor's office. I had to go see the pulmonologist and I had my little tablet. And I wanted to read Luke 21. And so I put in Luke 21, verse 1. And <clears throat> it starts off reading, this is the King James Version. And he looked up. And saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said of a truth, I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury, which is poverty, out of her poverty hath cast in all the living that she had. And I thought, wow, that... That is a reminder when I put up this video for Tessa. I'm going to read that scripture. And let us all remember this. Now, she has a PayPal account. Uh, let's see. Let me pull up the emails again. She put... Yeah, she said, I forgot to add to other email my information and it's paypal your paypal dot me i'm not sure what that is but it's i'll put this paypal dot me forward slash c gray one five three in the description box if you can't read the description box again that's paypal dot me all lowercase forward slash capital c Capital G R A Y one five three. You type that in your address bar at the top and it'll go straight to her PayPal account. Okay? All right, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and over my computer, your devices, and your internet connection. And with that, I'll say bye for now and keep looking up because our redemption draws nigh. Let us not be found lacking in anything we're supposed to do. I'm supposed to tell you that, so I'm telling you. Okay, bye for now.